We're going to try and do 5,000 trees planted at this site in one day. Now I don't think the council has done anything that large before, but we're certainly going to give it a, a good crack. Um, we've got enough plants, we've got enough spades, we need the people, we need somewhere to park the cars, and enough sausages, and we should be fine. So we're modelling this forest here on natural forest remnants that we find in some parts of um, Canterbury, Port Hills. Uh, we haven't got much left anymore, we've lost a lot of our forest in Christchurch. So when Europeans arrived in Christchurch, there were two pieces of forest. Papua Nui bush, that was about uh, 30 hectares in size, and Rickenham bush was uh, 22 hectares. Now within five years, uh, we cut Papua Nui bush down completely, so there's nothing left at all. Um, Rickenham bush reduced down to about 7 hectares from 22 hectares, and that's all we've got in the low Canterbury plains. There's less than half a percent of the original vegetation left in Canterbury compared to what we had in 1850, which was 100%. Indigenous. So what we're planting here is actually really significant and it's only 1.4 hectares here. These willows here, if we were to cut these trees down now and leave a piece of um, branch on the ground it would grow into a new tree because they reproduce vegetatively. But if we can kill them while they're standing they don't damage the plants underneath because they've lost all the weight in the timber and they don't regrow again. They provide a nice dappled light for the understory plantings to come away. Everything you can think of is in this forest behind me and we need to do something about that pretty soon because it'll be bigger next year and bigger the year after and more expensive to take care of.